Okay, Aries. Right now, with the Eight of Pentacles here as the overall energy, I feel that you're very focused on your work. Okay, this is you focusing on yourself, focusing on your self worth, focusing on your career, your goals, etc. All right. Okay. In the past, with the Five of Swords here, I think that there was a situation where you walked away from, okay? There could have been some mind games or there could have been some mind fuckery. There could have been serious communication issues between you and the person you're dealing with. Or this was just a lot of conflict between you guys, a lot of ego battle, okay? And someone walked away from a situation. Probably could be that, you know what, this was someone who was probably, you know, constantly pro probably, you know, putting you um, in the back burner, not giving you exactly what you want. When you wanted to talk to this person, you know, and address the issue of what really went wrong with this situation this person was not really ready to talk about it and they just like shun you away um i'm getting here that there could be a situation where uh, you're moving forward in the current situation from a very low vibration of energy okay with the power of cups in reverse here i think you could have been um in a very discontented mode from this person, this person could be constantly breadcrumbing you or they were just not offering you the entire package, okay? It could be a commitment, could be something solid, something stable, but they were not really offering you something very, very solid, okay? And probably you always thought that, you know what, you were not getting the attention and the love that you deserve. And finally, I think you walked away and now you could have been in that situation for a very long time, okay? Feeling isolated, you could have completely isolated yourself from this person lack of communication whatever have you but i right now i think the good part is that you are moving forward okay you're coming out of that isolation mode and you're ready to look at new opportunities okay and with the eight of pentacles here i feel you're very very focused on your work that's what i feel what's on the person's mind that you're dealing with is the chariot okay i think this person is now very very focused on you and it could be with the eight of pentacles that now this person wants to put in the effort okay with you and um, with the chariot, I think this person is very, very determined to move forward. With or without you, we'll see. Uh, they view you, how they view you is the six of pentacles in reverse. So they view you as either someone who's giving in them the bare minimum or someone who's just um, not investing into them at all. Okay. The six of pentacles in reverse can also be someone, you know, who's probably um, giving to two people at a time. Or also someone who's just, you know, um, not investing into the relationship is what I'm getting. I'm going to start clarifying before I go ahead. What is the Eight of Pentacles here? What is this Eight of Pentacles? What is the Eight of Pentacles? It's the King of Swords. You're very clear about what you want for the King of Swords here. You have clarity about a situation and I think now you're very clear about what you want and now you're ready to put in your work or this is someone who's very clear about what they want and now they're ready to focus on you, focus on this relationship or focus on making this relationship work. Okay? They want to master their craft and they want to put in the effort and invest themselves into this. Okay, But there is clarity out here. Um, what is the five of swords here? What is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Let's see, there could have been a wish fulfillment, okay? This this relationship could be a wish fulfillment, but I feel that in the past time you let this relationship go and you walked away from this person, okay? And um, with a star here, I think you were healing in the past. There was a lot of healing that was going on. You were trying to recover from this entire conflict or this serious drama that was going on in your life, okay? You could have waited for this person to give you what they want, which give you what you want. And uh, this person probably had a lot of ego issues. And every single time that they approach you, they always approach the situation with a lot of ego. Could be dealing with someone who always wanted the upper hand. Okay. This person is almost like, you know what, they're ready to win. Someone who has an empty victory. Okay. Someone who will win. Yes. But what did you win? You just won because for namesake but actually you lost it's that kind of a person okay so with Stalia I think you were healing from the situation because you were really really hurt with what happened what is the four of cups in reverse six of wands I think you're getting a lot of public recognition right now where it is you are coming out of that isolation mode 
you're wanting to move forward and look at other opportunities right now. And I think with the six of wands, you're here moving forward. You're getting into that public recognition. You could be doing very well at work. You could be very focused in work. Like I see, again, you could be having a lot of success, okay? And someone's watching you right here. Now that you've pulled yourself out of this mode, right? I think you're moving forward and you're very determined to move forward successfully. What is the chariot? What is the chariot? Chariot. Tower in reverse. There is someone here. What is on their mind with the chariot and the tower in reverse here? This is someone who's very, very, very determined to move forward, to move forward towards you. This person could be living at a distance from you. Maybe this person wants to travel towards you, right? But they're hell bent on repairing the damages that have already occurred. Okay, they want to rebuild with you from scratch. What is the six of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, they see you as who's given up. They see you as someone who's no more investing into them and you've given up on the situation. You could have really been at the end of the rope, okay, holding on, persevering that no, I'm still gonna give this a lot of I'm still gonna give this a chance. But I think you just backed off. They see you as someone who's just completely given up and they see you moving forward. They they see you who's not stuck on them anymore. You could have been very discontented or very dissatisfied with this person, okay? Now you're very determined to move forward. What is the Ten of Swords? This person feels very backstabbed and betrayed here, okay? With the King of Wands and the Ten of Swords, yeah, and now this person wants to take action. This person feels like they know that their situation has ended, okay? And now they want to take action with the King of Wands here. It could also be that there's someone here who feels fast up and betrayed because with the King of Wands here, you wanted this person to take action towards you or this person wanted to take action towards you but you didn't. So you're just feeling very fast up and betrayed by this person and like a lot of overkill, okay? You feel like a victim here. Someone feels like a victim here in their emotions. What is the Nine of Swords? How they want to move forward with you is the Nine of Swords. So someone's stressing a lot about you. This is someone who's in panic mode. The Nine of Swords is an energy of someone who's also overthinking, okay? You've been on their mind on a constant basis. And I think this person is overthinking and overanalyzing the situation. This is someone who's living in fear. A lot of remorse and regret coming from their side, okay? Again, I feel this person have really messed up the situation and now they don't know how to get you back. Why is the Nine of Swords now? They can't get you off their mind, okay? They're st it's like you're stressing them the fuck out. Two of Wands in reverse. This person probably is wanting to be very decisive or they still have to make a decision or they're just very stuck and stagnant. I'm getting they don't know what to do. It's getting them into their head, I think, with the Two of Wands in reverse. This person is very indecisive. They said they don't know which is the right move to make, but right now I think they're not making any move because they want to stay safe. They don't know which decision will lead the correct step towards you, the path towards you. Because they're very stressed, right? So they have a lot of clouded judgment in front of them. What's going on behind the scenes is the two of cups. There's a relationship coming in. This person wants a relationship with you. This person's in love with you. This is the two of cups. Soulmate energy, mutual love. What is the two of cups? What is the two of cups? <laughs> And now, with the Six of Pentacles here, this person wants to balance out the situation, okay? They want this equal give and take, they want this reciprocity, they want to invest into the connection which they didn't before, they want to balance out the scales, they want to balance out the situation, okay? They want to give you what you deserve, is what I'm getting. Your advice is the Two of Wands. Make a very detached decision. You have two parts in front of you, you're at a crossroads. Think a lot before you make the right choice. What is the Two of Wands? of pentacles, weigh out your pros and cons, okay? Don't immediately jump into making a decision, okay? Because this is not the two of wands in reverse. This is still, be at a crossroads. I don't think this is still asking you to make a decision. This is saying you need to make a decision. But when you make a decision, say to it that you weigh out the pros and cons, okay? Balance out the situation. Try and juggle the situation. Try and see what are the pros and cons, which is giving you more benefit, okay? Or is this situation going to benefit you, etc. Don't just jump in and don't be very impulsive and make a decision. Take your time before you make a decision. 
But the likely outcome, we have the King of Swords, and we have the King of Swords here too with the overall energy. So I feel there's communication coming in, clarity. There's someone here who's coming with truthful communication, wanting to clear the air. This is someone who's going to take a very logical approach to the situation. What is the King of Swords? Why is this a likely outcome? Knight of Swords, they're rushing in and with the Eight of Pentacles, this person is wanting to... You know what I'm getting? We have two repetitive cards here, Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords here. And we have the same we have the same repetition here with the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords here. So this shows me that there is not only someone who is very clear about what they want, but at the same time they're wanting to rush in with the Knight of Swords. And this person has so much to say, so much to say. But I think with the Eight of Pentacles here, I still feel this person is rushing in, coming in to clear the air, to communicate. But with the Eight of Pentacles here, either this person, yes, this person wants to put in the work. But I think this person wants to put in the work into you. But you, on the other hand, are too busy for this person and you're going to invest on yourself. This is the difference of Eight of Pentacles that I see. Here, the Eight of Pentacles, it's it's looking, it's it's facing the, the King of Swords, right? So this is this tells me that this is someone who are, who's wanting to make the effort in this connection, okay? Wanting to rebuild this connection, wanting to put in the effort, okay? Not being lazy anymore, and they're not fearing any kind of uh, lack of reciprocity. This is someone who wants to put in their hard work, okay? That's the overall energy. But in the likely outcome, I feel that with the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles, I feel you're getting communication, okay? And Someone's going to rush in with the Knight of Swords here, okay? This is a very impulsive energy. But I think your approach towards this situation is going to be very, very logical. And I think you're still going to be very, very focused on you. I don't know. It's it's weird, but that's what I'm getting. This person is now wanting to focus on you, putting all the effort on you. But you are too busy for them and you're going to focus on you. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.